Creating Subcircuits from Schematics, Part 1 In TINA, you can simplify schematics and hide clutter by turning portions of the schematic into subcircuits. TINA automatically represents these subcircuits as a rectangular block on your schematic, but you can create any shape you like with TINA Schematic Editor or select an already existing shape. You can convert any schematic diagram into a subcircuit called a macro in TINA simply by adding the terminals and saving the new circuit in the special TSM format. Let's see how to create a macro in TINA. Load the half adder, half add TSC, example from the examples folder of TINA. First, we will delete the text and the diagram. Let's convert the half adder example into a macro. Delete the old terminals and replace them by subcircuit terminals called macro pins in TINA. To select the portion of the circuit, terminals, click at the center of the area to be selected, hold down the left mouse button, then move the mouse and release the left mouse button at the opposite corner. Press the delete button. Select macro pin from the special toolbar. Rotate it by using the rotate left or rotate right button. Then connect it to the circuit. Double click the macro pin 1 to be selected. Then, in the pop-up window, rename the label as it is shown. Repeat this procedure for all deleted terminals. Next, create and save the new macro. Select New Macro Wizard from the Tools menu. Set the name to Half Adder. Click Next. Next, select the shape you want to assign. At this time, we will select the Auto Generate Shape. Click Next. Then set the file name and press Save. In the new Macro Wizard dialog box, now the following message appears The macro file is ready for use. It can be inserted by selecting Insert Macro or by pressing the Insert button below. Press the Insert button. The rectangular schematic symbol, which has been automatically created, will be attached to your cursor, and you can place it wherever you wish. If you double-click the macro and press Enter Macro, you can see and edit the content of the macro. Let's just edit the title of the macro. Note that by default, this change will be stored along with the macro in the TSC file. If you want to save the changes also in the already saved macro, invoke the new macro wizard again from the tools menu. Here you have to enter the macro name again, half adder subcircuit, which allows you to change the old name, half adder. Click Next. Select Auto Generate Shape. Click Next. Let's save the modified macro under a new name, Half Adder Modified. The name change we've made is included in the name of the macro. Let's open the macro to see the changes in the body of the macro. The changes we've made are indeed included. Let's check with an analysis the operation of the new macro we've created. Now let's just close the macro we have opened. Load the half add TSC circuit from the examples folder of TINA again, without the text and diagram. Insert the new macro we have created. Using copy and paste, 
Add the generators and outputs of half add.tsc to the macro. Run analysis. Digital timing analysis. You can easily check that the new macro provides the same result. For more tutorials, visit our website at www.tina.com slash English slash Tina slash video underscore tutorials. Download the demo version of Tina Design Suite and you will get an immediate 20% discount from the offline version of Tina, free license for your second computer, laptop, etc. One year free access to Tina Cloud the cloud-based, multi-language, installation-free online version of Tina, running in your browser anywhere in the world.